Yeah, we have new information on a scary carjacking on Capitol Hill. Thank you for being here with us tonight. I'm Lorenzo Hall. I'm Leslie Foster. So this happened early yesterday morning while the victims were out de uh, delivering newspapers. Here, John things. Duran is live in the Capitol Hill neighborhood after speaking to a neighbor who saw the whole thing unfold. And John, what are they saying to you? Lorenzo, first he says he heard screams, then went over to his front window and says he saw a man armed with a rifle forcefully stealing an SUV from a group that was delivering newspapers in the area. So this is 7th Street behind me, just off East Capitol Street. That's the dividing line between Northeast and Southeast. And this block of 7th Street Southeast behind me is where that carjacking happened. A block not used to such rude awakenings at 530 in the morning. An unusual commotion on a quiet block before the sun came up. And I heard his screaming. Oh it was enough to get Derek Wilson's I attention. I saw him getting in, in the car, but I didn't get a, a, a look at his face or anything. 530 in the morning Wednesday, Wilson witnessed the car shown here taken at gunpoint. So I looked out the window and I saw this guy with, I think he, I don't know what kind of gun he had, but it was a big one. Police say the carjacker was carrying a rifle and approached a car with three people inside delivering newspapers. Then they allegedly pointed the gun at one of the passengers, told him to get out, got in the vehicle, and took off. So they got out and screamed and they looked like they were in kind of shock because because they were right here. And then the guy just took off. He went up the street and he went left on Independence. Police say in addition to the car, they took two phones, a driver's license and three credit cards. She had been carjacked right after she had placed the paper, my paper on on my uh, stoops. A woman we spoke to says one of the women who was carjacked had been delivering newspapers here for at least a decade. An amazingly quiet block as, as I think the next one is we feel that we're you know in a nice little oasis uh, because it's not a through street. We all feel fairly safe. It is. There's actually very very seldom crime here. Um, when I come in the alley, there's always there's normally Capitol Police cars out there, so I feel, feel really safe out there. DC police are still searching for the person responsible for the carjacking. I'm also told, despite what happened yesterday, people here still did receive their newspaper this morning. Leslie, Lorenzo. Yeah, you're talking about 530 in the morning. You can even hear the birds chirping in that video. This is how folks are starting their day. Incredibly unsettling. John, thank you.